In the last video, we covered these custom URLs. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these. And I'm going to remove this Google Click ID because here is what the URL, this is what I, where I want to drive people to so I can collect this data. So let's go take a look at Google AdWords and see how do we, how do we implement these custom URLs inside Google AdWords. Um, so I'm logged into my Google AdWords account. I have everything on pause because I don't really need to run this stuff to show you how to do it. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create another campaign and it's going to be the fall campaign. So I'm just going to create this so you can kind of see what I do from scratch. <clears throat> and, you know, as far as the, the settings on where all this stuff's going to run, I, I don't really care. I just kind of want it to, I just kind of want to, you know, get it going. So uh, let's see here. So my name of this ad, so I created a fall campaign and I'm going to create a Black Friday um, ad group and I'll just put $5 or something. So save and finish. All right. So I have basically in my AdWords account, I have three campaigns. I have a fall, summer, and winter campaign. So in my fall campaign, I just created this Black Friday ad group. And I'm going to get into using <clears throat> custom parameters and tracking templates and all that stuff later. But this is going to be where, let's say, you just want to build an ad and then just put this data in there without using tracking templates and all that. I'm going to show you what to do first. And then in another video, I'm going to show you the, um, the tracking templates, how to kind of simplify all of your URLs so you don't have to build each one of these individually every time. And then another video, I'll show you all the value track parameters and what you can do with that and stuff. <clears throat> so let's go into this Black Friday ad group. And what I want to do is just add, I'm going to add an ad, basically. So the final URL, uh, we're driving people to this, <clears throat> to this landing page. And I'm just going to put going to put some information here and this is just to make the ad look pretty and then you can put a description or whatever but um, use eye tracker for lead source tracking okay <clears throat> so let's say this is your ad and you have these URL options so right now if if I want to use this type of deal, what I'll have to do is <clears throat> take everything that's after the question mark and Google AdWords has these these tracking templates. So you'll you'll basically have to replace your landing page URL with this LP URL, landing page URL. So notice that all I did was just remove that because that's already right here. That's my landing page URL. And I'm going to take the rest of this stuff, which is all the tracking data, and I'm just going to paste it into this tracking template. I just pasted it all right there. And then I'm going to click test. <clears throat> so it says landing page found because they know to resolve landing page URL to this. And then they're going to pass all this tracking data um, to your page. So how do you know that they're passing this tracking data? Well, you can click this little, see this little icon? You can hover over it or click it. So check this out. They have the click URL. This is the actual URL that people are going to click on. When you click on that, this is where you're going to be taken. Um, now notice the UTM term, the, the keyword is blank because there was no keyword, you know, in this sense, how I clicked on it, there was no keyword associated with it. But all this other stuff did get passed to your, to your site. If the UTM term was you know, set, or even if it's not set, you can, you can inspect the, the web form and just see what would an eye tracker set this stuff as. So the source is Google, the medium is AdWords, Black Friday ad, here's the lead source, and then the keyword that I have on the end is, is not set because there was no keyword set. So we just put not set just to know that, you know, we did, we, we tried, but it was not set. So, and then there's the IP address. And if you're sending the HTTP post back to us, like in the setup guide, how we detail that out, then you'll get the city, state, zip code, and all that other stuff, you know, on, on the lead. Um, 
So this is basically kind of like the easy way to do it. You just, just basically create your ad. So I'll just go ahead and save that so I'll have this here. Um, I'm going to pause it because I, I don't really want any of this stuff running. So you create your ad and you can go in here, um, go to the advanced URL options. And this is the tracking template that you're going to use. This landing page URL with all this data on the end. Make sure you test it. Click on this little deal to see what the actual URL looks like. And that, that's really it. Um, so the attribute used, there's one of these little value track parameters, this LP URL. Then here's the other keyword value track parameter that I'm using you know, in my template. It, it knew that I was using this keyword. If I had other ones in here, it would also list those and then what the value would be. And this is the tracking table that I pasted in there, but this is the click URL that, it, that it's going to resolve to. Uh, so this is the URL that you would click on to test it. Of course, you know, with the term that, you know, the dynamic keyword, you can't really test it in that sense. But if this was live and there was a keyword triggered, you know, some tr keyword that triggered the ad, it would get populated in this UTM term field. Um, <clears throat> so anyhow, this is how you use your custom URL with Google AdWords so that you can get this more detailed information. So in the next video, I'm going to go ahead and cover the value track parameters. So how to get maybe, you know, your ad placement or uh, whether it was a search network or the display network or whether it was a mobile device or a desktop device and stuff like that. I'm going to cover the value track parameters and then we're going to get into custom parameters and then we're going to get into tracking, uh, advanced tracking templates.